Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, got a, a new little buggy for you here today. Uh, this is uh, a 118 scale four wheel drive buggy from PX Toys. Um, looks pretty cool on the box. Several different variations or models available of course i got that buggy right there see a lot of different options so yeah this should be pretty cool i think so uh, let's check it out well, i got this sent to me from uh, Habex, so make sure to check out the links below as usual they've got some pretty cool stuff on there huge thank you uh, yeah, let's take it out of the box. So yeah, this is the uh, buggy. Pretty cool looking little buggy, 118 scale. Um, I really like the uh, look of it here. Different size tires, almost a little drag racing look. Uh, quite a lot wider in the back here, as you can see. Got the uh, transmitter here. Pretty solid looking transmitter. Some foam here on the wheel. Some uh, trimming and tuning options here. Reverse. Yeah, that looks like a pretty decent transmitter. So let's take off the body here. So in this we got a 390 sized motor which is a good sized motor for this tiny car got five wire servo with a servo saver here a mini Tamiya connector it's been a while since I last saw one of those mostly Deans nowadays on these cheaper ones but yeah that looks Okay, this is tight. So yeah, we got a um, 2S 850 milliamp battery. Should give us quite a decent runtime. See if I can fit it back in here. Like that. So yeah, that's. Should be more than enough for this one, considering how small it is. So we've got a metal center drive shaft going through the truck there. Front and rear diffs. Metal dog bones, plastic diff cups. And then also got 12 millimeter hex on this one and um, some leds in the front here not too bright but uh, leds always cool friction shocks probably going to uh, throw on some uh, oil shocks on this one if i like it because these feel extremely bouncy Yeah, I mean, it's it's a cheap, super cheap alternative or option. So I'm pretty excited about this one. I always like these smaller RCs that you can bring with you. Just put them in your backpack and always be uh, ready to bash if you get some time. I think that's about it. Uh, get the all-in-one electronics here see if you can see i think it says 25 amps 2s on off switch on the side there yeah i think it looks like a solid budget option and it looks like a lot of fun i really like the setup with the tires here so um, why not take this out for a little test drive and uh, 
Yeah, I'm thinking the skate park maybe, because this feels like a uh, fun basher. And as always, remember to like and subscribe and check all the links below. Got another unboxing coming to the channel. Got this cool boat also sent to me from Harvex. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to uh, subscribe. And yeah, let's test drive this little buggy. Okay, so now I'm at the old abandoned skate park again. Gonna give this a little test run, see how it handles, if it's any fast. And uh, let's see if it can handle some jumps as well. Is, uh, it's not like it's 30 or 35 km kilometers per hour like it said on the box, but it's still solid fun. I to jump a little bit. No huge air or um, anything, but it's still fun. It's pretty stable as well. Yeah, so as you can see, it can actually handle those uh, large jumps pretty easily. It's a bit slow, but it's a solid platform. And it's super cheap, so yeah, I kind of like it. A little slower than I expected it to be, but it's still a lot of fun. I actually kind of like it. Great, great entry level RC. The extra large or extra wide rear tires really make it stable, even though it's not like super high speed or anything. It's still, you can feel they make it quite a difference. So let's hit this big jump. Oops! Damn! Okay, so. Body took a hit there. I didn't quite focus properly. So yeah, try it again here. Yeah, nice. One more time. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. Broke the body a little bit in front. A bit slower than I expected it to be, but it's perfect for kids or as your first RC. It really could take a beating on these jumps. Or if you just want to have something you can bring with you at all times in your backpack, it's pretty good size for that. But if you're more experienced and looking for something like, I don't know, something fast and stuff, I should, I wouldn't look at something else, but it's a solid little basher for this price. Definitely. It's a really rough landing there, but... Yeah. I actually recommend this one if you want something to bring with you in the backpack. So there you have it. I think that's all for this video. <laughs> Whoops, one more. There's, there's always... Uh, dangerous to say just one more you usually crack that one but that's the last one okay so yeah make sure to check out the links below hit that subscribe button and uh, i'll see you soon your point is an elephant